our post-match discussion, and we'll talk a little bit about it. Yeah, so the first game, absolutely massive, just complete stomp. Second game, Andrea just had nothing, nothing at all. I feel, I feel all. like I, I don't want to take, take too much away from him because obviously he's got to this point, but like, I feel like his side decking choices were not that great. No? Like, okay, so Pendulum the deck, yeah. Magic Deflector just doesn't put that much work in. No. It's, yeah. It really didn't. I it, mean, in, in that very specific scenario where... Um, in a way, Marvin was kind of behind because he'd, you know, he'd interrupted enough stuff. It, you know, it worked all right, but I feel like it wasn't. It's not that much of a good card against. Yeah, I, th I think today. he's. I think he's side, side decking too much as well at this point. Yeah, he side decked. He, he was a looking. Lot. He, he felt like he'd put. Bas he basically changed his deck at that point because we didn't see really anything of any of no. the cards that he had in his deck before. His during game one. Yeah, his deck is naturally favoured against the Pendulum deck because yeah. of the amount of inherent spell and trap destruction he gets just by making the plays that he'd make anyway. Yeah. And with Masterpiece being so strong, it's just his deck didn't show up. He may have oversided there with Grizzly Prisons. Uh, we don't have his deck list to confirm whether or not those were uh, on top of the dimensional barriers that he probably pulled in. But yeah. this is one of the big drawbacks to the card of the Mice build is you can destroy the, uh, the blank hands that go nowhere. Yeah. And then... Uh, Marvin was probably pretty nervous going second, saw four back row and was like, this is going to be a problem, then realized that all four of those cards were nothing that's going to slow him down. Yeah. yeah. Don't get me wrong, if, if he'd have opened uh, with a attributed monster and then Graysell Prison, then he would be in a completely different spot because he would have been able to trigger you know, all those traps. He, and he, had a, he had a lot of live draws yeah. in the early stage, and then he got to a point where it didn't matter what the draw was. And like even a card demise from the top was just going to get uh, Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. Yeah. yeah. Um, but. The first game, the setup that Marvin did, that was the most impressive pendulum setup we've seen this weekend. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. The definitely. surprise Vortex Dragon. I'm yeah, going to wonder was, how many players just amazing. watched that Beautiful. in the main hall, and we'll take note of that going into the top yeah. 24. Yeah, well, well so, someone's going to make a YouTube video about Vortex Dragon going, going up in price now. <laughs> it's going to happen. <laughs> That's not our business, Luke. That's not our business. <laughs> nope, definitely not our business. <sighs> And so that is the end of Swiss. Uh, we may be able to get a little interview with our winner, um, but if not, well, you're going to be waiting a little bit of a while now just simply because we've got to have people check over the standings, do our little deck profiles that we need to do in between now and then. Uh, so we will be back in just a little while. Please stay with us. <laughs>